My name is David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I am here with this generator that I've been working on modifying, and I have figured out what caused the issue that I previously ran into, which was the generator was not turning off when I turned off the first relay on there. And I figured out what had caused that, which was these two wires on this switch right here are what gets activated when you push the switch to the off position. So what I'm going to do is connect those two wires to a set of wires that will go to the fourth relay up there. And triggering those wires should cause the generator to turn back off again. I just tested that when I, I pushed the switch on, told the generator to start through the app on my phone, and it started, and then I flipped the switch back off again manually, and it turned off. So I should be able to just disconnect these two wires, have them start. Uh, have the generator start and then trigger the relay for those two wires and that will cause it to turn back off again So that's going to be my next step I'll make some another set of wires to run from the relay to those two right there I've also got the wires for uh, The start wires are plugged in and these right here are for the eco mode at some point in time, I hope to extend the wires here for this uh, screen um, and set of LED lights there. I'm hoping to be able to just find some additional of these parts right here where I could just mount those inside of my cabin and run wires teed in there to power a second version of those uh, LEDs and screen where it could be mounted in the cabin and I can actually see the output of the generator like that without actually going and looking at the generator directly and I'm hoping today to start building a wooden case to put this in that will allow the generator to be noise isolated. So I'm going to build a, a big plywood box that I could put the propane tank and the generator in and probably line it with some of this two inch thick styrofoam on the walls and the roof of the box. And that will hopefully cut down on the noise of the generator significantly. And then I'll figure out how to run the exhaust out the back and probably run that into some type of muffler where the uh, generator noise will be cut down hopefully pretty significantly and being locked up inside that box should hopefully lead to some degree of security and hopefully the generator doesn't sprout little legs and walk off. All right, well, this has been a, a quick update, um, and hopefully my process and progress on getting this set up is useful for somebody, and I wanted to add that I hadn't done any kind of programming to get this set up. All I've got is the wires on this relay plugged into this Raspberry Pi, and an app on my phone that's able to communicate directly with the Raspberry Pi. You can install that without having any additional software installed on the Raspberry Pi other than the basic Raspberry Pi operating system. And then you just use that app to trigger stuff inside of the relay to cause it to turn on and off. So I think that's a good place to start and hopefully this gets rolling and we can carry it up to the cabin and use it to provide backup power during bad weather and keep the cabin powered 
when we're not up there. All right, uh, I hope this has been useful. This has been David with Tennessee Valley Solar and Mr. DIY Solar. If this has been useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks much.